I am joined now by the 2018 MRS Innovation and Materials Characterization Award winner, Mr. David Cahill. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad I could be here. Congratulations on your award. Very exciting. Yeah, thank you. The award citation reads, for developing transformative methods for characterizing the thermal transport properties of materials and their interfaces using time domain thermoreflectance and related approaches. Tell us a little bit about your work <laughs> and how you came to that particular field of materials research. Yeah, well I can see, you know, thermoreflectance refers to a, you know, a class of techniques, so we, we didn't have make up the name. I can see one thing we should maybe do is come up with a catchier, catchier <laughs> title for what we did. Um, so thermal, time domain thermoreflectance is a, is a, it's a method for measuring uh, mostly thermal conductivity of materials, so that's the ability of materials to carry heat. And that's a subject I've been studying for a long time since my PhD work, uh, where mostly the motivation was to uh, advance the physical understanding of materials. And, but, but now as a part of a material science um, efforts, it it's also allows us to develop new materials, to um, you know, measure properties that then engineers use in order to optimize you know, an engineering problem. How much of your work will you be uh, talking about with the talk that you'll be presenting? Yeah, so you know, it's just, it, I'll, what I'll talk about is kind of the context of how the um, you know we developed material, and you know, and about 30 different postdocs and PhD graduate students have contributed over the course of about 15 years to um, making that technique what it is what it is now. Uh, and then, but I want to emphasize the, the usefulness of it to the materials community. So being able to apply it to the development or exploration of materials that, you know, 10 years ago we wouldn't have been able to do. What might mm -hmm. some of the uh, practical applications or devices mm -hmm. be that we would see as a result of your work? Yeah, so it's a measurement technique. So it kind of is behind the scenes in some sense. Um, I would say the most exciting thing right now is the development of new kinds of, of data storage mechanisms which are based on heat, either in magnetic storage or in phase change um, uh, memory storage. And you know, heat plays a really prominent, you know, a controlling role in those technologies. And being able to understand all the properties and the behavior of materials um, at very small link scales and very short time scales is uh, really you know, critical, has been critical for how those um, technologies have developed. On a personal note, mm -hmm. how would you describe mm -hmm. your experience as an MRS member? Yeah, what MRS, has it done yeah. to influence your career? Yeah, MRS has been a home, um, you know, since I you know, joined a material science department, uh, you know, 27 years ago. Um, uh, I'd highlight actually the creation of a symposium on this topic of what we call sort of nanoscale thermal transport, uh, which this technique I think has uh, been a big part of that topic growing. But the first symposium on that um, topic was in the uh, was organized by me and some of my colleagues in the middle 2000s, and that uh, symposium continues to run to the present day. Every other year in the spring meeting, there's a, a whole symposium, and it's actually turned into one of the largest uh, um, parts of the meeting. Um, at every spring MRS meeting. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah. Well, yeah. thank you so much for talking with us and congratulations on your award. We appreciate it. David Cahill, yeah. thanks. Thank you.